back, baby. Marcus Golden, edge rusher, again, last year with the Pittsburgh Steelers, is back with the Pittsburgh Steelers after David Perales is released after injuring his knee yesterday. Welcome into Steelers Talk. I am your host, Jack Sperry. Today, I'm going to be reacting to this signing of outside linebacker Marcus Golden and what that means, not only for the Pittsburgh Steelers as a team as a whole, but also for specifically the edge rusher room and whether or not Marcus Golden will actually end up making the Pittsburgh Steelers' final roster this season. Now, before we get into today's breaking news action, this is why you subscribe to the channel, guys. When breaking news happens on the Pittsburgh Steelers, we're going to have you covered with breaking news action right here on Steelers Talk. There's rumors going around of a potential wide receiver trade as well. So if that happens, we'll probably, I can probably actually go live for that. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really do appreciate all of your support and join the largest Steelers YouTube channel on the platform right now by clicking that subscribe button. Okay, guys, let's get to this signing. And you guys know if you've been watching the show that I have been advocating for the Pittsburgh Steelers to bring back Marcus Golden literally for months, since like the early stages of free agency. I knew even going back to then that the Steelers really needed a fourth edge rusher to go with their starters, of course, in TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, and then their third edge rush edge rusher in Nick Herbig. I mean, they had David Perales, they have Kyron Johnson, they have Jeremiah Moon, but I really thought that Marcus Golden, who had a really good season last year with the Pittsburgh Steelers, should be brought back, especially because because nobody was picking him up on the free agency market. Now, of course, this move does correspond with David Perales getting cut uh, after suffering a knee injury yesterday. He was carted off the field, so it's pretty safe to assume. I'm guessing that that's pretty serious, uh, or at least it's going to take him out long enough for this team to uh, be willing to part ways with him. But now, I mean, it's better, uh, better late than never when it comes to getting this guy, man, and Marcus Golden, because he had a really solid season for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers in 2023. Of course, when TJ Watt got hurt, they brought in Marcus to start. He even started that playoff game against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, he had 20 tackles overall, six tackles for loss, four sacks, and a really, really good pro football focus grade of 86.5, which was the highest of his career. So this is somebody that's highly effective when asked to play in this Pittsburgh Steelers defense in that outside linebacker role. He's specifically really good against the run. He's very stout as a run defender. Uh, he's very hard to be to be blown off his spot even at the outside linebacker position. And I really think that he's going to have a very solid season for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. Now Nick Herbig is expected to uh, move up into that third edge rusher role this year. So Golden's role with the Pittsburgh Steelers will be reduced, but to get a guy like this that had an over 86 point or had an 86.5 grade according to Pro Football Focus last year, somebody with four sacks as your fourth edge rusher just solidifies this as arguably the best edge rusher room in the National Football League here with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm really excited to see what Marcus is going to be able to do this year, man. And, you know, if, if TJ Watt or, or Alex Highsmith, God forbid, gets hurt, it's nice to know that you have a fully sized outside linebacker in Marcus Golden who has experience in this system, who has chemistry with the defensive players in this system, uh, that you can trust to, to come in for those guys on the early downs, right? Nick Herbig, as good as he is as a pass rusher, and I'm really excited about his sophomore season, he's still a bit undersized and you know what I necessarily trust him in an every down role if TJ or Alex got hurt this year I'd at least be a little bit skeptical that he could uh, hold up against the run I guess what we'll see if Nick proves me wrong on that but it is nice to have that uh, insurance policy here in Marcus Golden who you already know can do the job at a relatively high level that's definitely something I'm looking forward to this year and this was absolutely the correct move by GM Omar Khan and head coach Mike Tomlin now come Coming up next here on Steelers Talk, what does this mean for the edge rusher room for the Pittsburgh Steelers? I'll let you guys know that here in just a second. But first, make sure you guys click that thumbs up icon if you haven't already. Like today's show if you uh, if you are approve of this signing of outside linebacker Marcus Golden. This is one that I've been advocating for for quite a bit, so I'd be clicking that thumbs up icon. But let me know what you guys think by clicking that thumbs up icon right now. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about how this affects uh, the dynamic in terms of who's going to be the number four edge rusher on this team heading into the 2024 season. And I do believe that because Golden has experience in with this team and, you know, the Steelers know that he can do the job, he does have the inline road to be the number four edge rusher 
rusher on this roster heading into the year. Now, Kyron Johnson and Jeremiah Moon have both had pretty decent uh, uh, camps to this point. But you look at uh, this room right now, you got T.J. Watt and Alex Highsmith, arguably the best edge rusher duo in football. Nick Herbig, who's going to be one of the best rotational pass rushers in football this year. And then you have Marcus Golden, who is a really good depth piece. And most NFL teams don't carry five outside linebackers. Right? They don't carry five edge rushers. So this is definitely something where Kyron Johnson and Jeremiah Moon, who, uh, to be fair to them, they've had pretty darn good camps themselves, but they are now on the outside looking in, and they're going to have to really step it up, and one of these guys is going to have to truly prove that they can do the job better than Marcus Golden did last season during camp this year in order to win a, uh, you know, a, 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 you know, a spot on the Steelers' 53-man roster. They could also earn a role in special teams. I guess that's a possibility as well. But if you're Kyron Johnson and Jeremiah Moon today, your chances of making the final Steelers roster just went down pretty significantly with this signing of Marcus Golden. Uh, so they better uh, be ready to ramp things up here as training camp continues. Now, in terms of my grade for this signing of Marcus Golden today, for what it is, guys, getting a fourth edge rusher this late into the game, getting an edge rusher that had an 86.5 pro football focus grade this late and getting him for the price that they're going to get him, it's probably a vet minimum contract here, that is absolutely an A for me, okay? Now, it's not an A in the sense that, oh, he's going to be an amazing player, superstar player for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year, but it's an A in terms of what it is, which is a depth signing. You're not going to get many uh, you know, depth outside linebackers in the league as good as Marcus Golden is. So I definitely think this is a great move by GM Omar Khan, head coach Mike Tomlin. And you know, it sucks for David Perales because, you know, I think this team re really came into this offseason and this training camp hoping that he was going to take that next step. Uh, they kept him on the practice squad last year for a reason. They believe in him. Uh, but that injury is apparently uh, severe enough to let go of him and bring back the veteran and Marcus Golden. Now it's your turn. Let me know down there in the comments section, what is your grade for the Marcus Golden signing? Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. You guys already know I am giving this one an A, so let me know what you guys think down there in the comments section. So later today, guys, make sure you click that subscribe button because we are going live on Steelers Talk this afternoon. I'll have my latest practice report. Practice is actually going on right now as I'm speaking right now. So make sure you guys join, uh, join us at 4.30 p.m. Eastern. My girlfriend Cassie is going to be on the show for the first time in channel history today. It's going to be a bunch of fun. We just had a historic month of July. Now we're going to get August started off on the right foot. So make sure you click that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you join us for Steelers Talk Live at 4.30 p.m. Eastern later today. And until next time, guys, here we go, Steelers.